Appreciate it. Well, an iconic Italian dessert now has its own month. And thanks to this man right here, Jasper Mirable from Jasper's, of course. He is joining us today uh, to teach us how to make cannolis. Now, uh, I'll give you this one for the whole week here. Uh, so what do you call an Italian Jedi? An Italian Jedi? Yeah. Oh, you got me on this one. Obi-Wan cannoli. Oh, all right. right. There you one. go. I you can use that, that on your customers I all will. this week, all right? I will. <laughs> well, I'm here to make something unique, something different, and that's cannoncini. Now, you've heard of cannolis. Yeah. They've been around since the first century. I mean, I don't know about that long, but I like to say they have been. Okay. <laughs> and they're so popular, I decided 16 years ago that we had to name a month after them and do National Cannoli Month. I ride around town, pass out cannolis. I do 30 <laughs> cannolis in 30 days. Oh, wow. Captain Crunch, Crunch Berry, peanut butter and jelly for Elvis, uh, so, Nutella. So, Jasper, tell me, so you're making different flavors, or this is how you make the cannoli? Well, the original cannoli, oh, there was, okay. you know, is just ricotta cheese. Yeah. Powdered sugar, maybe a chocolate bit in there, and some candied fruit, a little bit of cinnamon oil if you're from certain areas of Sicily. Uh -huh. And then I mix in different flavors every oh, day. I see what you mean. Yeah, you yeah, change yeah. it up every day. I like that. But this year, I brought it to a new level. This is uh -huh. like a cannoli month on steroids, okay? So Here we I, go. <laughs> I came up, I did a lot of research, and in Italy I saw, you know, when I would travel, uh, this little pastry shell, but it wasn't a cannoli. And it was like a French horn. So yeah. this is what it looks like right here. So you get puff pastry, and all you do is you cut the pastry, and it's not difficult at all. And you just, I mean, you have to buy your puff pastry unless you're gonna make it. But right. here you go. And then you get these little horns. Now you spray them with a little food release first. Yeah. And then you just wrap it around the horn, just like this right here. And then you kind of make it a little as even as you can and kind of stretch it as I'm going, as you see right here. Yes, it's look at not that. difficult. You can make this at home in less than 30 minutes because it takes about 20 minutes to bake at about 400 degrees. And you keep stretching as much as you can. And this is when it gets kind of thinner. And that's a good thing. Just like that right here. Oh, look at that. It works out every time, and it's always just so perfect. I leave a little on the end because I don't want it too tight on mm -hmm. my ends. Would you put something on top of that before you put it in exactly. the Exactly. So you uh, brush it with a little bit of egg wash okay. or egg wash in water. And then I like to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on there beforehand. Oh. Some granulated sugar, yes. okay? And then you fill it with the cannoli filling. And that's the filling right there. I put a little chocolate and strawberry sauce on there for you. Oh my the gosh. cannoli filling, it's not difficult to make at all. You can use a, uh, uh, a mixer just like I have here. Okay. You can do it by hand. I like to mix it on the mixer because I'll tell you why, uh, to be honest with you, the more it's whipped, the better it is. Remember, ricotta means recooked, and that's everything that's left over when you make mozzarella. There's other ways to make it today, but that's the original way to make okay, it. Okay, okay. And powdered sugar. A little bit of cinnamon oil, if you like that flavor, and maybe some almond, maybe a little bit of vanilla. It's up to you. Just put that in there. I have a heavy duty uh, cinnamon oil here. I put fresh berries. I put, you know, chopped uh, candied fruit. It really doesn't matter. And we mix this up and then we fill it inside these delicious shells. There's not an easier dessert to make, but so flavorful for National Cannoli Month. Oh my gosh. So Jasper, when you fill the shells here, are you use are you piping it in? I or pipe you, them in. Oh, so you, okay. I always have my little bags uh, with me right is, here. You know? <laughs> we didn't even set them up before. Cut the ends and just set them. Or you could just do it by hand. It's not difficult at all. We fill hundreds and hundreds a day, uh, just like this right here. Make sure you get it all the way down in there. And then we face the top, just uh. like that. And you want a nice, you know, creamy texture to that ricotta. So make sure you use a good ricotta that's been already strained because sometimes you buy these ricottas in the grocery yeah. store and they're not strained. So you want one that's strained. Strained, okay. And that's it. And then you top it with tons of powdered sugar. I mean, a lot of powdered sugar before we serve it. Uh. And that is my special Sicilian cannoli or I love it. the canon. Well, I, I'm going to dig in here. We are just about out of time. Really quick here, the cannoli mobile is back. It's back. It's damaged. It's back, though. I can't thank you all enough here at the station for getting the news out that day. We were thinking about uh, you. Seriously. And just, I mean, we saw the video of it rolling away, and it was sort of like, oh, oh my, my God. Goodness. Come on, seriously, the third yeah. time. But it's back. It's safe. My nephew's going to work on it, get it fixed. We'll have it back before the end of the month, rolling around town, and you can take photos with it and everything <laughs> again. <laughs> Jasper Mirabli from Jasper's celebrating Cannoli Month. Uh, like only Jasper can.
Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, go see Jasper uh, at his restaurant in South Kansas City. It's just off 103rd, not too far from State Line. Uh, you can follow Jasper on social media at Jasper's KC or you can go to jasperskc.com. Great to see you.